Hey guys, my name is Jewel Tolentino, and in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to use the bulk uploading feature on Hootsuite. If you don't know what Hootsuite is, it's a social media dashboard to manage and measure your social media networks. I mainly use it for my Twitter accounts and my Facebook fan pages that I need to manage. But you can also use it for your LinkedIn, Google+, and Foursquare. So, when I use Hootsuite, I use it to schedule messages in advance on Twitter or on our Facebook fan pages. I use their schedule messages feature to keep constant circulating and going on Twitter and on Facebook. So it's it's constantly, it's doing it by itself basically. I don't have to go in and tweet every single time at that time or to post at that time because I've already scheduled it. So please know that we do not solely rely on scheduling messages. Yes, it does save time, but I would not recommend just relying on that all the time. It is also very important to tweet and to post live when things are happening in the moment. Because if you're always doing it in advance and people know that you're doing it in advance, then it'll, it'll feel not so real and it'll feel kind of fake because they're not doing it really, they just scheduled it a month ago. So that's why I try to incorporate both the real and the scheduled messages aspect of keeping our content constantly circulating. So the reason why we created this video for you guys about how to use the bulk uploading feature on Hootsuite is because when I first tried this, this out, I had a lot of trouble with it. It was confusing and um, I didn't get it right away and it was frustrating and it probably took a couple of hours and I thought that you know when I did figure it out that maybe a lot of other people were having this problem as well so this is why we created this video is for anyone who's having trouble with the bulk uploading feature or they just want to know what it's about so the bulk uploading feature on Hootsuite it saves us a lot of time because it does get quite tedious when you're uploading every single message for every single time slot and when I first started off I started off with the free account on Hootsuite and I find I found myself losing a lot of time when I needed to schedule the next month's uh, tweets it took me hours and hours because when we schedule tweets we don't just do one a day we do multiple tweets during the day and when you have the free account you have to do each one manually and um, I would always see the uh, the bulk uploading feature on there but it, it was uh, it wasn't free it's uh, you have to upgrade to upgrade to the pro account so it goes from the free account to the pro account and after a couple of months of doing the the free way and you know using hours and hours I just said you know what I'm just gonna let's upgrade see how it is and see if I want to keep it. So we upgraded to the pro account and I believe it's $6 a month and I have been so happy with it. It saves so much time because I do, um, I manage a couple of Twitter accounts, not just our own but for other companies as well. So it does save me time when I upgraded to the pro account because it gives me the ability to use the bulk uploading feature. So let's get right into things and uh, let's just show you how, how it works so please sign into your Hootsuite account I have mine already open let me just pull it up alright here we go so you want to click on the left hand side here where it says publisher and you want to click on schedule in bulk and there's gonna be a window that pops up and here you can choose you know what you're wanting to do in a bulk upload for so let's just you know keep it at the first one here first thing you want to do before you start anything is to download the sample CSV file it's basically an Excel uh, spreadsheet so I already did so you guys can click uh, OK and save file save it to your desktop so you can grab it easily and I'm just gonna pull that up right here this is the exact one that they give you off of Hootsuite and this is how their format is this is how they'd like you to display and input your tweets so that you can bulk upload them so as you can see here they have different dates and then the times 
then the actual tweet, and then the link within the tweet. So if you want them to click on something. I actually don't like putting different dates within the same Excel file because I find it gets confusing. We actually, we do multiple tweets during the day. So I created my own system to make things a little easier for me. So what I did was each Excel file is a date on the calendar. So let me show you what I mean by that. So this is for the art gallery that we tweet for on Hootsuite and each number represents a number on the calendar. So this is the 10th of the month, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, and so on. So let's just go into the 10th. So you can see here that it's January 10th, 2012. This is the tweet and this is the link that I want people to go to. So what we did was we put different time slots here for the same date. Now you're probably thinking, okay, well, that's only for January 10th. I've got to create one for every month. Uh, no, actually you don't. What you can do is let's say it's February right now. So I'm going to want to set it up for March. So all I would do is just change the month. So right now it's on January and I just put a three there and that now becomes March 10th, 2012. So when you're doing it month by month, you would just go in and change each month. You would just highlight it and just change it for each one, depending on how many tweets you have, you know, for each day. So I only have four for this particular day. And when you're saving it, I always go save as, you want to save it as the CSV for whatever type of computer you're using. So I have to choose MS-DOS if you have a Mac, you want to use it for Macintosh um, and you want to make sure that you save it for the right type because if you save it as anything else, Hootsuite will not accept it and that's one of the problems that we had. So I'm just going to click yes because I want to replace it and I'm going to click yes to this. So I'm going to go back to Hootsuite and I'm going to browse for that file. So then you'll know when it works when you click submit and it says successfully scheduled for messages. If it didn't work, you'll see this red sign pop up and you'll have to do it again. So let's just refresh this page and we'll show you that they actually did go in. So those tweets were for the gallery. Let's just scroll down to March. Here we go. Those were the, the tweets that I just showed you. Originally, the Excel file had said January, but I just changed the month to March. And you know, there you go. I, had, I have it set for March 10th, uh, 2012. So you can set it up from one to 31. Not all months have 31 days, but you know, at least you have them for the months that do. And you go in and you set up each day of the month. In the beginning, this is a little bit tedious, but now that I've set this up, it makes it so much easier every month to just go in and just, you know, upload my tweets through bulk uploading like this. Instead of having to upload, there were four tweets within the, the day, the 10th day, I would have to upload each time separately. But with the bulk uploading feature, you actually only have to upload each day and that makes it a lot easier and the reason why I split it up to each day is because we have so many tweets per day and I didn't want them to get mixed up all in one huge um, Excel spreadsheet so it was easier for me to manage if you guys want to keep it all on one spreadsheet that's fine you guys can create your own method I was just showing you you know what works for me all right well I hope you guys found this video useful if you did please you know thumbs up it, like it, share it, you know, all that. And if you have any questions and you had some problems, please don't hesitate to email us at info at esatinoconnections.com and I will try my very hardest to help you out. So, yeah. All right, well, stay tuned for the next social media tip next week, and I'll see you guys later.